My name is Brandon Dillard with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today we're going to be discussing uh, soil moisture sensors and, and how to install them. Soil moisture sensors have become popular with uh, irrigated crops so that we can reduce our inputs and while increasing our yield. So there's, there's several different types of soil moisture sensors that we can use. Um, from, a, from a cheap aerometer, uh, it costs about $100. Some of the pros are it costs $100. It's easy to install. Basically, you just push it in. If the ground's too hard, you can take a piece of PVC pipe and, and, and hammer it in and then push this in. The, the main concept is this gypsum block down here has to have really good soil contact. So you don't want to push it down. If you're using a pipe, you don't want to make too big of a hole and have air around here. You just want to push the pipe to about there and then push this on in so that you have really good soil contact. Uh, any kind of air bubbles around it will cause the gauge to uh, read improperly. The other thing is you have to come and they make a suction tool and, and so uh, you have to kind of suction it out. Basically what this reads is uh, how the soil around it, as the soil around it becomes drier, it's pulling this water out of the probe. And so basically what this gauge is reading is how much, uh, how much tension is being put on this water, uh, pulling it out. So as it, as the gauge gets higher and higher, then you, you would turn your water on. Uh, these are really good. A lot of people use these in vegetables. Uh, you can see this one's a really short one. This one's a, uh, 12 inch, usually they, uh, farmers use a 12 and an 18 inch, um, just to, just to see where the, uh, moisture's at in their, in their beds. This can also be used in row crops in the row. Um, this is really good if you're just beginning to use, just beginning to irrigate or just beginning to use soil moisture sensors. This is a really good one to start with. Uh, some of the negatives is you have to go to the field and look at that gauge. The main one we'll be discussing today uh, is our Syntec probes. These Syntec probes, as you can see, uh, are about 30 inches uh, long, and so you're getting uh, 30, 30 inches of data all the way down. So you can see um, for, for cotton uh, that has a deeper root system that, that you can really uh, get down to the bottom of that. Um, we'll also be this is some of the telemetry that's um, we'll be using it in this. Instead of us having to go to the field, we can look from our iPhones or our smartphones and, and see exactly what that probe is reading. And then for farmers who have the uh, pivot um, access on their phone where they can turn the pivot on and off, then we can, they can look at the, what the soil moisture sensor is saying, turn around, turn the pivot on, uh, sitting right there at the house or or in the truck or in the tractor or wherever. So, so installing this Syntec probe, um, we have an install kit. And basically, uh, this is a special drill bit. It's tapered, uh, smaller at the bottom, gets bigger at the top, just like the probe is. Um, and so we're able to go, you get deep into the clay, it gets hard. So there's no way you'd be able to push that probe all the way down. So therefore we get this, we have this drill bit and uh, to create that hole. And um, so it makes it easier to install. Um, some of the benefits of the uh, Syntec Pro or some of the negatives to the Syntec Pro, they're pretty costly. Uh, not including the install kit, just the telemetry and the, and the probe is about $2,000. So you can see a $2,000 probe versus a $100 probe, uh, huge difference. Um, but the, some of the newer probes, the sin, newer Syntec probes also are starting to read uh, salinity. So we're working on, we're doing some work on nitrogen applications based off of salinity. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but, but it's giving us a lot more options there. Um, so in a minute, we'll be going to the field and we'll show you uh, exactly how to install them. Okay, we made it to the field uh, to install the Syntec probe. Now this Syntec probe is, uh, is uh, 36 inches long. And we have a 
capacitance sensor every four inches. So we'll get a reading in the soil every four inches. Uh, we have our install kit on the ground. You can see there's three screws that go in the ground and, and we hold that install kit into place um, so that it doesn't move. And there's a hole in the center that our drill bit is going to go in so that we're sure that we're drilling a straight uh, straight hole in there to push to push our sensor in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bolt these three down and then we'll come back and uh, show us drilling the hole. install kit in place uh, we're going to make sure our drill bit is level and uh, we're going to start drilling and now every now and then I'll have to pick it up to clean it out but we want to go earlier I marked it to the third uh, spiral there and so I want to go all the way to there so that I can get that install kit in I mean get the sensor in So we're taking the install kit out, moving it over, clear a hole out. And now our probe will be ready to go into the hole. Now this is gonna be a, it's still gonna be a snug fit because you don't want any air pockets in there. And so when you get to the last two inches, you may have to really push on it pretty hard. You can see that's that's kind of where it ends. From there it's gonna be pretty hard. I may have to stick the uh, auger back down in there and get a little bit more. But I'm going to try to push it in there without it. So I'm probably I'm probably about an inch and a half from being all the way. So I'll run the auger just a little bit more and then we'll be able to push it on. So now we have our probe in. We, are, uh, we want to put our sensor in. And, and so all the wires coming out of the probe are going to plug into our sensor. And this also gives us telemetry so that we can look from our iPhone and see exactly what that probe is reading. So basically due to rats and rodents and things, we're gonna dig a trench from that probe to the house to the sensor housing here and, and stick this in here and our our wires will be inside this pipe, it'll be safe and it'll be under the ground from the sensor to the Now we we put our uh, sensor housing in the ground, and you can see there's a hole there for the wire to run into. Uh, we, we buried from the probe to the hole. We buried our wire already, and uh, so now I'm gonna feed the wire up through the hole, up through the top. We'll plug the sensor in, put it in top, put our cap on, our rain cap on top, and uh, we'll be set to go. All right, so we we run our wire up through there. That can be a little tricky sometimes. What I like to do is take this take the sensor apart there just have one black end going in and then I'll take a metal flag or, or a piece of wire or something and hook it reach down there and grab it and pull it out um, so then we're gonna stuff the wire back in all the excess wire is gonna stay in this tube and so the best way to, to do that is roll 
roll all this wire up, and then just kind of shove it down there. A lot of times if you just try to shove it down there uh, a little bit at a time, you don't have enough to do it. So uh, then we'll turn around, plug this into our sensor. We'll push our sensor down in there and put our rain cap on and we'll be done. So now we have our sensor in our housing. Uh, I know this looks kind of short, but we don't need a real tall one. Uh, in, in this particular research, we're doing some uh, research on a portable K-line unit uh, in a hay field. And so we don't really need anything too tall. But if you were in corn, we have extensions um, to get, you wanna make sure that sensor is above the crop. Uh, one, so you can see it, and two, so the telemetry can communicate with it. Um, but now uh, we've got our probe in and we've got our sensor in. And so basically we just kind of cover up the hole, make sure our wire is covered up completely, make sure our hole is covered completely so no rodents can get in there. And then of course, last but not least, make sure we put a flag up uh, so that no one runs over it uh, with a tractor or any kind of uh, four wheeler. My name again is Brandon Dillard with Alabama Cooperative Extension System. If you've got these probes or any other probes or you're interested in looking at probes, uh, please feel free to call us. Uh, we'd be glad to help you um, either install or, or look at you know, what the probes are, are saying. Um, so call your local extension office and they, be, uh, they can get up with us.